up everyone, and welcome back to the North for the second episode of the Iron Oath whilst it is in early access. So we started off getting through, we skipped the prologue, and we got straight into the nitty gritty of it. We have the Northerners, uh, we've had two people who already want to be characters. I have found a bit of limitation with the character creation per se, I imagine they are going to add extra stuff as we go. Let me just explain to what's happened. So we've got Ruben and Richter, turns out that you need a last name to be able to create all the customization stuff. So I've just given you the last name Northerner, because I feel like it works, and I feel like you'd be pretty happy with that. So Rubik, even though you asked to be bald, there's actually not a bald option, which is actually kind of weird. There's balding, but not bald. And also, you can see the tattoo across your eyes. Uh, you can't change the color, but it is sort of purplish anyway. Um, so it kind of works. And uh, Richter, or the person playing it, Roderick, uh, there was no runes per se, but it was one for the side of the head, which kind of works. And there's not a stubble choice, but the clean shaven choice actually looks kind of like stubble anyway. So it kind of works. Uh, so I think they'll probably add more options as we go down the line. As you'll see, both Bowena and Ingle, I had to admit them to the infirmary. So the infirmary's in the city. You get a discount if they like you more. They're both in there and being treated. They have to stay here to recover, and then they'll join us later on after they feel a little better. So because we were down two people, I did decide to hire a Huntress called Kristen Young, who, once again, can be customized if someone wants to be a ranger. I'm pretty sure you can actually change. Uh, yeah, you can change their gender just straight up as well. So it doesn't matter who we hire them as, we can just customize them to whatever we want, as it were. Um, so whoever wants to be people can be people. Whatever you want, just give me the de detailed description. Once again, this is the list. Give me this breakdown of what you want, and I'll get it as close as I can. Anyway, so we've got Hunter. We've still got Yurik, who is magic. We've got Richter, who is magic. Roslyn, who is a guardian, so big on defense. And Rubik, who is a big old, a big punchy man. So we've got enough people. Uh, I did rest to get everyone from fatigue. So let us now go and close this void breach, wherever it may be. And make everyone like us a bit more, I suppose. Let us be off. I am going to quickly get it to the marketplace, because we haven't actually seen it yet. Um, so we've got some demon's blood, which I don't know what we can do with yet. And we have some fish. Now, I don't see a thing where you've got to keep enough food to keep everyone, like, happy. So I imagine that's not actually a thing, I suppose. I wish you could sort by, um, like, character. Ooh, we are materials, so once again, the trading aspects here. But for example, I could get a coat of plates, could get some leather scale, iron lamella, cloth vest. I could get some better weapons, as it were. Um, but for the time being, I'm probably going to leave it because we don't have loads of money. We don't have enough money to pay everyone at the end of the year. So, And I imagine Frostfell is the end of the year, so we better get a wriggle on. So where is this void breach? There it is. Let's go close the damn thing. 11 days, not a problem. As long as you know, the end of the year doesn't happen. And we uh, lose everyone some money. Nobody walk away just because you're not getting paid, please. Okay, so we'll choose Richter. We'll choose Rubik. Uh, I will choose... Ooh, I don't know. We've already got one magic person. So I'll go defense and we'll see how uh, Kristen does. And then let's go with provisions. So we got one campfire. I'll go for the health potion. I'll go for the bandages because... Like hell, we we definitely need those. Um, tell you what, I'll go for another bandage, and I'll go for some tools, because it actually helped us break through. Oh, wow, that's expensive. Oh, God, let's go! So, I imagine we've got, like, no money now. <laughs> oh, boy. Right. How comfortable do I feel? I'll scout this one. Okay, we're good now. We're good for now. And I'll scout again. Oh, well, I did nothing. Knock, knock. Okay, nothing here. Of course. <laughs> but of course. Right, let's get into position. So, Rosalind, you come up first. Rubik, you get close as well. Richter, you come down here. And Kristen, I'm not entirely sure what your range is. So, sort of stay here so we can't come at you. We've got a Null Beast, we've got two Risen Ghouls, and we've got this Slappy Boy. 
who he heals by stealing health from his friends. Pugilist. I suppose can go here and beat up this uh, this here dog, which I think I will get him to do. So I know really you've got hair here. It doesn't technically transfer over to the main character thing. You can change like the color and the skin tone and the color of your clothes and stuff for your like character avatar whilst we're fighting, but it doesn't quite relate to the character portrait. It'd be pretty cool if they managed to do that at some point, but you know, once again, can't guarantee that'll ever happen. Right, so let's see. So what she's got. So she's got attack normally. I don't know what the range is. So range of 4 is 85%, range of 5. So that further away the range, the less damage it's going to do. And we've got Hone, which is for two, ra two rounds, all attacks will inflict bleed, which is what we saw with that character in the first fight we did. And then we've got Volley, which aims in any direction in channels for five turns. Damage all enemies among the designated trajectory. So I think that's kind of like Overwatch. I can imagine that's like our Overwatch. I imagine you've got less of a chance to hit because Rubik's in the way. Perhaps. So I aim that. Ah, I see. So it's like a line. Yeah, let's try it. Let's, let's try it. And then if you stand in front of her... And honestly, just guard. You're going to attack our pugilist friend. Oh. Ooh, hello. That's not what I was expecting. Good dodge. Why did that not activate the overwatch? Good dodge. Ah. It's like an afterthought. Okay. You blow up all that one. I'm going to try and use our abilities a little less so. Dead zone. Characters are silenced so unable to use abilities while occupying this hex. Oh, interesting. Okay, well that's good to know. Uh, well, let's wipe out... Yep, he's going to take some op attack of opportunity damage. That's fine. Let's wipe out this dog and kick it into oblivion. That's fine. Then it's going to be you next. How much damage do you do? Might be able to just take that one out straight up. So let's aim to shoot that one. Ooh, maybe. Night 4. I think it'll do it. If she hits. That is the big thing. And she'll hit. Good job. Okay, a little bit of damage. That's fine. That's why you are a healer. Now, if I use Arc Lightning... One day I will use Arc Lightning where I don't hurt someone else. <laughs> one day. It would be nice. Pugilist, if you would be so kind. Here we go, rough and... Ah, a rough and misser. That's a shame. Nice and easy shot. Healing would probably help. How much are you on? 279, you're on 203. If you could heal Mr. Mister Rubik, see who play, that would be great. You are going to take a... Oh! Yeah, okay, that works. I'm fine with that, actually. And then, I don't think we need to use any special abilities to really, uh, be on this guy. Oh, what's he got? Stat? What's that one? Disabled, this vi victim is unable to act and will lose their next turn. Well, I might... Oh, you know what? Just finish it off. I was gonna... Oh! Oh, sorry. I'm really sorry, uh, Rubik, but you are now covered in ghoul guts. Uh, no beast thief, I will take that. Pretty grim. Okay, well, everyone's got a little bit of health damage going on, but I think we're okay. We handled that quite well, I'd like to think. Remember, we are playing on a harder difficulty as well. What is the status effect? Harrowing experience. Even the bravest of soldiers is not immune to traumatic events. It will take a while to forget this one. Increases post-mission fatigue. That means a lot more resting, unfortunately. Okay, scout up. Nothing of interest so far. Scout again. What is the legend for that? So that is a secret. Ooh, let's go find out. With curiosity in her eyes, Kristen runs a probing hand along the wall. Reckon there's something beyond this wall. Though I can't say for certain. Let's find out, shall we? Search the area six. Bloody hell. Let's use the tools to speed up our search. You discover a narrow passage and follow it into another chamber. As it centralizes a spring filled with shimmering water, 
slowly flowing in for some passage above. Kristen approaches and kneels down, wringing a hand through the cool waters. Unless my knowledge is failing me, I do believe this water has healing properties. Guess we'll find out. A fortunate find. Good eye, Kristen. Okay, so they're a little bit better off. Aye, the god smiles upon us. I'm curious which way is the right way. I'm gonna go this way. And this way again! Ooh. Okay. I think I will now... If I camp, there's a 30% chance of risk. Okay. But I can bring that down with people. Just because I don't want this to hit again. So I'd rather get... Have two status effects instead of three negative status effects. So we'll camp. I'm still trying to figure this out the same as everyone else, to be fair. So let's camp. I'm trying to find, like, the best way of doing things. Let's, uh, restore vitality. Uh, stamina... I suppose I could go mind. There's no... We haven't actually got any wounds, so I don't need to do that. I guess I'll just do that. We don't really have an extra three, but that's fine. I could just close that off. Uh, if I make camp and toggle the lookouts, then 4.5% is absolutely grand. No, you can actually change them quite well. Okay. Okay, well... Ru your boat, Richter and Rubik are going to cover us. Well, I suppose you're injured, so I don't know if this will help better if I do that instead. 7.5% chance? We'd have to be pretty unlucky. And we have been unlucky before. What's the crack? Are we fine? We're fine. Great. And that goes, resets back to zero. So it's not a massive difference, but now that means I can do this and not feel too worried about it. And we can't get super surprised anymore because we know it's coming. I think that worked out pretty well. What do we got? Oh, we got these guys who, like, suck in the health a bit. And then we've also got the Temptress. No one be a simp now. Don't be wanting any of that. And then Rubik, you go up there. Uh, Richter. Actually, Rubik, come down here. Richter, you go up there because I want to see if you can actually arc lightning these bastards. The Anguished has got, like... Shame you can't, like, right-click on the enemies, per se. Defense of 50%. It's pretty crazy. There's should have resistances as well, which is quite interesting. So they're all resistance, most of them are resistance to dark, other than the beast who is only resistance to, resistant to silence. I suppose it might work better if... Lock this one down. He is eventually going to do his probably massive explodey move. She didn't do anything from what I could tell? Well, we'll see, won't we? I, I feel like I should be a little bit concerned, but it is what it is. Nice. And then if we get her, there is going to be a little bit of a line. So let's put her here, I suppose. And I could guard. I could actually just do safeguard. So I'm going to safeguard both her and Rubik, because they're going to be in the front line. So they'll have a damaging, an anti-damage shield in a second. She's going to blade need it now, isn't she? <laughs> Down you go, Richter. Now, you might as well conduit and just blow apart this one. Like it was never born. There we go, there's the shield. It took a while. Now, I can move here without taking an attack of opportunity, because I'm still within its range. And by doing this, I can actually escape if I wanted to. Oof, I don't want to kick them both. That'd be just mean. And try not to use all the abilities, because we can only use them for a certain time. Like, once these dots are out, that's it. I feel like they refresh when um you use camp, though. It'd be a bit weird if they didn't. I'm pretty adamant they do. Right, you're almost dead. Oh, two health. Two health. They having a laugh. It's all right, Rosalind. You can heal yourself in a second. You're going to need it. Oh, it's disabled by the dead zone. Oh, dear. Well, guarding is not really going to help. But killing that one will help. This dead zone is pretty bonkers. If I did that, I would hit literally everyone. Okay, cool. 
That one's also dead. Nice. That will take an attack of opportunity. Okay. Standing there, though... But you can then go into there, and it won't silence technically. Can I kick him out off the off the map? No. Okay, lesson learned. Lesson learned. <laughs> I will actually hone, so I want to see how it does. Ah, moving is going to incur an attack of opportunity. She's only got 55 health as well, and I'm pretty sure that thing does... 55. Okay, you know what? Just guard. For the time being, just guard. I need you to get up in her grill, my friend. Get up in her grill. Arc Lightning will just hurt you, apparently, so that's going well. Uh, don't waste Conduit, because you can actually basically kill her in two hits. And you have uh, give a stack charge, so increased chance to be stunned. Cool. She's on 26 health. Do these things last forever? Last for three rounds. Okay. Okay, well, punching it away didn't really work, annoyingly. So if I... I might be able to switch her then out and there. Watch. This might work. Did he, uh... Are you fine? Possibly not. Pull yourself out. Ooh. She's going to bleed, and you're going to heal. There we go. So you can, like, rotate them out. So he... So she's bleeding and stag charged. Just eviscerate her already, will you? Wing wham wazzle. Ah, the classic explodey move. God. Since it's going to explode, you can't take an attack of opportunity anymore. But why not shoot it? Just for a laugh. Just for a laugh. And then move out slightly and heal yourself again. See? No injuries here. Just fun. She got Radiance after using three abilities. The Guardian's Holy Conviction shows a random adjacent ally with light, clearing their negative conditions. And you're on guard. Okay. I did see something called Mind Over Matter, which appeared, Ben. Just, mate, just blow up already. Nobody cares. Just blow up. Ugh. Disgusting. And Rosalind leveled up. Very cool. So Conviction is Defense. So I'll take that. Insight is Crit and Perception. You know what? I'm just going to take Defense. Straight up. Oh, so I suppose I go, actually, go Toughness as well. That'll work. I don't think I've got any others to give. Uh, do we have... Oh, Holy Barrage is cool. That's what the other person had. Is it locked out? That's Judgment. That's the wrong one. You, you ding that. Dawn is these. Safeguard is these. Can I unlock Cully Barrage? Do I have to... What's well, made an upgrade point? She must first level up and unlock this ability. So, does she have to get to a certain level before she can then get... Oh, rank, novice, two abilities. So, the higher the rank, the higher the more abilities you can access at once. Right. Okay, well, that's... That's fair. That makes sense. That makes sense. So, I'll increase the damage shield strengthen. And then I'll also... Do Radiant Dawn, so I can actually start using Radiance better. Confirm. And Rubik leveled up. Nice one. We'll go one in Physique. So Physique is Critical Damage, Health, and Evasion. Finesse is Accuracy, Crit, and Evasion. I think I'll just go General Health and Defense as well, just to sake of toughness. You see how that moves? It's a point three, so that's all right. And once again, Novice, only two things available. So we will go... If a Killing Blow is dealt on the first hit, strike an adjacent enemy. Oh, that's sick. And let's have a look at Crescent Wave. Game plus movement for one round. Increases damage. I'll go for increased damage so you can just kick everyone back. You'll be a super monk man yet. Alright. Nice one. Since there was a battle here, I imagine we're probably fine for a while? A small stack of crates sits in a corner. A dust-covered cloth draped over them. We've got time. Search them. Medicine. Bad medicine. It's done now. Right, cool. Carefully, I am going to scout. It is going to give us another negative status effect. One misstep or lapse in judgment is all it takes to get seriously hurt. One can concentrate on so many things. Your chance of incurring an injury has increased significantly. Ah, damn. 
But I'm glad I did that because now I know there is a battle upcoming. Uh, Roslyn, can I go into my healing abilities? How are you looking? It's a bit better. I'll keep... No, I'm going to keep two of them. She's only... She's not actually lost that much health, to be fair. I can't put it back down. There we go. And you can actually use the healing abilities outside of combat, which I only just realized now. That's cool. Well, we haven't got to the Void Breach yet, so I imagine we haven't... Oh, we ambushed the enemy! And how does that affect us exactly? I don't think... I assume it just means we all go first. I don't... I'm not seeing any other positive... Um, effects to that, as it were. Oh, you've ambushed the enemy, allowing your party to act first in the opening round. By scouting and revealing the location, you have a chance to ambush. However, it's not always guaranteed. Right. I have a cunning plan. Baldrick. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go here, and I'm going to biff this guy this way. I'm going to bring up our new Archer friend. Uh, I suppose I'll injure this one a bit. Or I won't. I will then keep you out of the hexagonal damage dealing range. And instead just guard. And now, Richter... If I go here... This should work. Oh, I thought it was going to like bounce through them all. Oh, it kind of does. Well, greet them. Welcome them to the party, Richter. I know that's not how that quote goes. It's actually, I'll see you at the party, Richter. But, you know. Can I kick all three of them? Well, why not? Uh, this right, that one? Oh, oh, once again, Rubik's covered in God knows what. Play that flare. Play the flare. Alright, well, he's ruined my fun. But it's okay. And now, if you can... Actually, to be fair, if you can move back. Because I don't think he can move very far. In terms of movement, he's got a movement of four. So if you stay out of his range, you should be alright. I'm going to use double dash to get over there. I imagine he's going to go over to... Yep. I think I could probably live with that. What's that? Blank. So he's an additional 15% damage from all incoming attacks. Uh, let's muda 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 him. Yeah. And then... Does she not lose an ability just because there's people in the way, no? Okay, that's great. I'll take that. But it drops off the further away she is. As stated here, range of 4 is 85%, whereas it's, what, 1, 2, one, two 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it'll be, like, way less damage. If I go here, I imagine the damage is going to be more so. Hmm, it's not as much as I would have liked. But, you know, that's okay. Oh, that's less. So what's that? Incre inflicts 10 moral damage to the opponent on their turn. But at least she can move. That's the important part. Yes, I would love to once again do it, but it's not going to work, is it? Right, you're going to you're gonna blow up. As stated by Richter. You're going to... Take, you're going to do something crazy and hit your friend. Interesting. Right, just kick him. Just kick him in the jaw. That's fine. You're dead anyway. You're going to move around. Oh, you are going to take an attack of opportunity, though, because of that. Just heal them. Yeah, I know. You're already corrupting. Psych! Back to the Shadow Realm with you, Jimbo. Okay, now everyone, please move back. It's about to get very explody in here. Whoop, 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 whoop. I know it's. I know we're out of the blast range, but you know. Oh, you know what? Did you stun him? Does that mean he's gonna blow up or not blow up? I'm not quite sure. I think it might mean he's not going to blow up. 
He stopped him from dying. Uh, great, I guess. I guess that means we've got to kill him a bit more. That's a, that was a bad time to do that, I guess. I guess, you know, you get the kill, we'll get something out of it, so... I, I, I would imagine. He's still stunned. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that's not on game. He needs to wind up that ability. If he was stunned, he would have to, like, start it again. So then he would have to start the explosion again. But instead, he just straight up did it. Ah, platers. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that one. Okay, well, it happened. Best just to deal with it. I suppose. So, charge plus one. Ooh, I'll take I'll take always an extra charge. Ooh, but I do like crit damage. I'll take that as well. Oh, well, I guess we've got some injuries again. Ah, oh, as if that counted. I feel like I've been gypped. Absolutely gypped. Oh, well. Well. There you go. All bandaged up. Have some health potions. You too, buddy. Should be okay. Oh, you know what? I'll use the last one. Everyone's more or less at full. Her bleed out's not great, though. Can't believe it blew up after that. It's a bit silly. It's a bit silly. He's feeling mighty dangerous. Increased chance of ambushing remaining encounters by 10%. Oh dear, oh dear. What does that mean? A hazard, you say? Well, we've scouted out at least. Richter holds up his hand and freezes. Eyes raised to the crumbling ceiling, which looks ready to give way. I think we're, I think we're probably close enough to the end that we can just walk slowly. Oh, you'll notice that these are changing. So if I do this, they won't like it because they're rash. But Richter will like it. Because it's cautious. And then, yeah, he doesn't really care, does he? Rubik just is like, whatever. Honestly, I'd rather just make, let everyone survive. Yeah, alright, well, you're literally limping your way out. Come on, let's go. Some people. Are we out yet? Oh my god, how big is this place? Okay, we're about to get another status effect. We need more camps, man. Come on, what is it? You've lost one bandage. Did we even have any left? I don't think we did. Okay. Well. This could be interesting. Oh, we ambushed him again. Good. It's kind of what I need, to be fair. Let's get ready, Larry. Let's get ready, ready. Let's get ready to rumble. I might just have to use base attacks for the time being. Just because we don't really have a lot else going on. I will hone, though, because we've got the extra time to do it. And then a bit of star. We can't be having... We cannot be doing that. That's good. She's also stack charged, which is great. Can you finish it in one? Not quite, but you can basically call it a day. What's that? Ah, bruised her knee. Let's let's silence this one permanently. And then move her out of there so she's fine. Slice the tempers open a new one. I'm getting a feeling that Rosalind might not survive this dungeon. Oof. Tell me how you really feel about being whipped. Jesus. Hundred percent. She's straight up there. He basically touched her to blow her up. And then Mr. Whippy, not the ice cream man. Cause that'd be weird. Almost dead, he is bleeding. Uh, move around so you're not within the corruption. Can't safeguard currently. How much health have you got? I think you're okay for now, but maybe next turn we might have to guard. 
Not going for the person I thought he was going to go for. Ah, oh, buddy. Rubik. Stay in it. 80%. Can you save your mate Rubik? You can. Let's move in. I do kind of want to save it for ice. Oh, he crit. Fabulous. Uh, let's move back. If it, as long as we're not in it on our turn, it's okay. And then please finish it. Nice one. Okay, we're still in it. A little bit of bleed. There is a bandage, though. Richter leveled up. Very nice. So insight is critical damage and perception. And then mind is. So we'll go 10 and then 13. Very nice. Helps detect traps and secrets in a dungeon. So I'm going to quickly go through these. So obviously health is health. Morale is a feeling towards current mission. Morale affects the post-mission fatigue. Power is basic attacks. Crit chance is crit chance. Crit damage is crit damage. Base accuracy, defense, and evasion is what it sounds like. Speed and movement. Perception helps to detect traps and secrets in a dungeon. In addition to lowering the chance of being ambushed in combat. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, can conduit? Can we make it? So, so it's already sped up. I wouldn't mind. Oh, we're a journeyman, so we can get a third ability. If we want it. So let's see. So we've got Tempest. Lightning randomly strikes four times in a circular area. Each strike inf in inflicts a stag charge passive. Target self or single ally increases speed by 10 and movement by 1. Interesting. Move to the target cell. Targets along the path are pushed aside. Target a single cell and restore 50 morale over the next three turns. Apply the wet terrain. Interesting. I'm going to Tempest. That sounds sick. Uh, Arc Lightning. Could I make it so... Oh, you know what? No, actually, no. I'm going to give the other one. A, uh, what's Raging Storm? Oh, yes. Hell yes. Let's get out of this fight, shall we? And get a little bit more healed up. Are we? Are we out yet? Please? Oh, my God. There you go. And there you go. Literally last legs for some people. Uh, oh god. Is this the right way? Oh god, it looks like I'm going in a circle, doesn't it? Next one. These seem to... We much need a break. We take a moment to gather our bearings. Gained a slight break from the march of time. Oh, that's nice. No camp, though. Just slight break. Whilst I appreciate the slight break... Ooh, 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 what's that? That's the objective, right. Do I, can I use anything? I mean, I've got some tools. That's really it. Okay, some of you may die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Let's go. Mysterious light flickers erratically up ahead, accompanied by the sound of an unnatural humming that can only be described as evil in nature. You, just, you approach the breach, a swirling of vortex of dark energies, and peer into its center... Wondering what lies on the other side and resisting the sudden urge to find out. Kristen looks on with marvel. Have you ever seen such a thing? It's almost beautiful in a way. Terrifying, more like. Richter sticks out an arm, preventing Kristen from inching forward for a closer look. Let's not forget why we've come here. Kristen shakes their head as if snapped from a trance. Yes. Right. The void. Breach. Clear to... Clear to close the void breach. The void breach for the void spawn. Yes. The breach seems to suddenly grow in intensity, unseen forces pushing you all back like wind from a hurricane. It surges on and from center, shadowy figures I saw this coming a mile away. Crystal steadies themselves and sheaths their weapon. Demons! Prepare your sen. Prepare your sen! Because of course it wasn't going to be a simple day of just, you know, we got there, we came, we, we killed, we conquered. No. Okay. We are a little bit on the uh, low side in terms of a few things. I'm a little bit concerned about some of our guys. What's their movement like? He's got 950 health. Are you kidding me? Who the hell is this jabroni? He's got a little uh, like prestige thing next to his name, so I imagine he's pretty strong. Movement of 5. Movement of 4. Movement of 3. Movement of 4. It's really annoying because since we've, got, since we've ambushed him, we can actually get a wriggle on. I also don't want to get a wriggle on. You see why I'm having my problem. 
Don't want to go near this massive bastard. Oh well. Would that basically kill that one? Is it going to be a waste? I mean, not, not, none of this is really a waste, is it? Actually, you know what? If we get to go again after this, then... Look how little damage that does! Oh my lord! That's not good. Right, can we just like... Can we straight out just take... Take out one of them? That would be a great start, wouldn't it? How much health are you on? I don't believe it. So let's look at Tempest. If I did that... Oh, I see. So it activates straight away. Okay. Interesting. Once again, learning experience. Uh, let's get in there. Gears. Muda, 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 Muda? Annoyingly, it is going to get a go. But it isn't someone who's actually got a decent amount of health, so they will survive. Hey, hey. So I would guess, I've actually got a... So if I, for example, went this way, and then went here... Would then that that then work? I imagine it would. He just straight up kill her. Oh, she's got one health. Please, uh. Oh god, no! Don't do that. Please, please change that very quickly. Thank you. Don't know what this guy's up to. He's being a sneaky beaky. Um, I don't like the look of that. I, uh, that's something I will say. Do I have to kill, destroy those? I feel like I should destroy them. I'm going to stand here, though, because I want to do this quickly. And I've got an idea. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Okay, so that just sort of happens after a while. So if I wait, delay your turn until the end of the current round. If I delay... And then if I use Arc Lightning on these, that will destroy them and give us a good length. Nice. <laughs> give us a good length. Very funny. Ha ha ha. Right. This isn't the uh, playthrough to do knob jokes. I keep forgetting. Right, you're out. Now it's just uh, Mr. Spectral Reaper Man. Let's give... Who's got the least amount of health? Rubik? I don't entirely know what those creepy spectral scythes do. I don't want to find out. I guess we might, though. Careful! I mean, I mean, what, what can you do other than kick him? Give him a bit of a kicking. Man, he has so much health. It is not even funny. Can I do that to it so that gets rid of that as well? Oh, so it just sort of chooses where it lands. Right. So it doesn't go in a circle. Interesting. Okay. Oh, that was, a, that was a cool little ability. So he's static charged. I'm just going to keep popping arrows into him. Is he stunned? He's disabled. That's fantastic. If I use Arc Lightning, will it just go through them both? It will, but it'll also go through Rubik. That's the only issue. You know what? Just charge up conduit. Get ready to absolutely blow him apart. Careful now. Yeah, that thing's a bit of a bitch, isn't it? You are stunned, so you ain't doing jack all, my friend. Jack all. I don't think you can bleed a ghost. I'm going to assume he's immune to bleed. Yeah, funny that. <laughs> Somehow, I'm not really that surprised. Oh, he's turned around. Waking him up so he can just get blown up! That was some anime-style shit, and I am all here for it. Fantastic! That was great! With the last demon slain, everyone quickly turns their attention back to the breach. 
Fearing the arrival of additional monsters. Hurry now, we've got sound number attack. Close it! You throw the pouch into the void's breach, center, and it disappears from view. Everyone takes a cautious step back as blinding light begins to emanate from within. Forcing you to shield your eyes, after a sudden whoosh, you peer above your raised arm to see the breach destabilized and blinking from existence. Wasn't sure that'd work. Circles full of surprises, it seems. Uh, yeah, you might want to ask uh, our friend Richter. He's uh, got something going with the Circle of Magi, don't you, buddy? Let's uh, let's get out of here. Uh, solid. So Rosalind's injured, which is a shame. Everyone else is a little bit injured, and we're going to take a bit of time to recover. We will get a bit of money back for our provisions that we didn't use, and our gear is a bit, you know, not so great. Okay. We out. Let's just get back to Andalon. And let's see if our friends have, uh, have recovered at all. I assume they probably have. Also, usually I do, like, cold cuts to get to, like, the next part of, like, these, like, videos. Uh, of this parts are interesting. But because this game is so new, I don't really want to skip much. Because I want everyone to see as much as possible, you know? Turn up into dark and sky. You spot a flock of birds flying with ears to cross your view. Their black wings barely visible against the backdrop. Richter strolls up against you and matches your gaze. Hard to believe it's morning. It is morning, right? Can't tell of late with the sky being so damn dark. Just then a thunderous boom draws everyone's attention, bringing your caravan to a swift halt. You fixate just your eyes on the sound's direction, not sure what you're expecting to see, but staring intently nonetheless. The sky darkens further. Thunderstorm? Now black as night, and a few people begin fumbling around trying to locate and light up torches. What in the... A terrifying, otherworldly roar is heard in distance, and moments later, a dragon of indescribable size rips through the sky's very fabric and into full view, dark energy scattering all around it. With wings flapping as it twists through the air, it descends towards the ground with alarming speed, skirting across the land in a direction opposite yours, much to everyone's relief. Excuse me? Dragon, where? Oh, shit. Oh, that's a big dragon. That's a very big dragon. And that city just got control alt deleted. Did he just eat all its souls? Uh, what's... Oh, it's gone. Again. What? What the... We should press on towards Andalon and consider ourselves lucky it chose not to attack this region. There'll be more void spawn in the dragon's wake, however, and the vanguard may require further insistence. Yes, lucky indeed. Let's get back to Andalon. Well, that's cool. World event. The dragon has attacked Graveswood. Oh, there's world events as well. Ah, oh, cool. Very cool. Okay, back to Andalon. And that's why I don't skip stuff. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, enter the sea. Uh, everyone else on the team might be all right now. Let's hand this in. You move with purpose through the city of Andalon. You're near the vanguard garrison. Observe the officer hurriedly delivering the last of his orders to nearby soldiers. Your mission was a success, I gather. I could use some good news. What, bar the dragon, mate? The breach is closed. Well, that's one last thing to worry about. I'm grateful, truly. Tell me, was there any sign of the party I'd sent beforehand? I, I imagine that if we'd searched the dungeon a bit more, we could probably find the party from before, I guess. But... There were so many, like, status effects that affected us negatively over in the last one. And our uh, stuff just ran low so quickly, so unfortunately we couldn't find them, mate. Better than some alternative, I suppose. Perhaps they'll turn up yet. Yeah, I highly doubt it. He bids you to follow him inside and closes the door. We were out there when the dragon arrived. Caused a downright panic here and see. People in trampling over each other in darkness. Scrambling to get to the underground shelters. All for naught in this case. You never do get used to it. You sound tired, buddy. Thankfully, it appears to have set its sights elsewhere. We've already more than enough to contend with here as it stands. Well, if there's more to be done, we're pretty ready. The Northerners are ready to rock and roll. He leans over his desk, his brow furrowing. There is indeed. A horde of voice spawn are approaching the sea. This sea, the one we're in right now, and we'll be here within a matter of days. Unfortunately, much of our forces are occupied elsewhere and cannot be recalled in time. Oh boy. The city guard will of course be getting involved, but I will not say no to extra help. Sure thing, buddy. I'm glad to hear it. And of course, before I forget, here's your payment for the previous job, with more yet to come, should we survive this ordeal. 
He steps out from behind his desk, an arm placed on your back as he shows you to the door. We're preparing our defences just outside the city. Meet me there when you're ready, but don't tech too long. We haven't much time before those bastards are upon us. Thanks, Sean Bean. We've acquired another about a round point arc kit. We should look into some upgrades for company. Let's go to the company upgrades. And we got some scrap, which we could just sell. And I probably will just sell. But we got a bit of money. Rosalind needs a bit of healing, but on the plus side, she's not as bad as the other two. Uh, recovery would be cool, but we need Renown level 5. Renown level 10, Renown level 5. Okay. New recruit start with plus 5 loyalty. Very cool. So I could increase the roster capacity to 10, which I probably will end up doing because we're going through people like nobody's business. Oof. Hmm. Yes. You know what? Tents. Tents it is. And then you have to go out of the menu to confirm it and apply it. And there it is. Okay, let's have a quick look in the infirmary, see how our two guys and girls are doing. 16 days. Annoyingly, I can't add anyone else into the infirmary. How is your injury going to go if I leave you out of the infirmary? Because it's going to be like 16 days. Rosalind is critical. Oh, dear. Oh, it worsens in... Right, worsens in 30 days. So, she'll be okay whilst we wait, basically. That's bearable then. Okay, I'm going to have a quick look at the marketplace. Because I haven't really had a look yet. So that's just medicine. I imagine we can actually just... Uh, click this stuff and sell it. Um, I imagine Demon's Blood could be quite useful if there is like a crafting section. But I don't think we have access to it. If there is a crafting section? I don't think there is a crafting section. I think it's just... Um, company upgrades. There is, like, the council thing, but, like, say, that'll come a bit later on. Yes, I'm aware that Rosling's very injured. No, there isn't really... I guess crafting isn't really a thing. But again, it isn't really in, like, battle... It is in War Tales, but it isn't in Battle Brothers, so it's not like, uh... Unless you count the taxidermist. In that case, yes, it does exist. Um, and also do recall that there is expeditions and alchemy sections for the renowned areas instead of just... The general area. I'm just using it to increase our roster size and the speed we move at for the time being. But you don't have to follow suit, as it were. So you guys will be fine in about, well, you'll be fine in two weeks, and I'll switch you out with Roslyn. How long have I got until I have to link up? That's the only question. Can I... I'm going to go back to the marketplace. I will sell the Nilbis Teeth, then. And I'll sell all the Demon's Blood. Is there a sell all button? Shift and... No? Shift and right click. Control and click. Alt and click? Nah, I'm just gonna... Okay, fine. Fine. You've played me. Like a damn fiddle. Okay. What do we got, then? So we've got a short sword. We've got a hunting bow, which could be pretty decent. We've got initiate staff. I wish you could um, compare with the people in your area, or at least be able to open up the uh, character sheet right now so I can just have it in front of me. Instead of having to do this and then go back out to then go back in. I don't think you, anyone even uses swords currently. We've got Rubik who uses... Um, you don't... Well, you think everyone's okay. You and Yurik don't really get along though. Is what it is. And we're paying you 125. Okay. Yeah, you have, what? Cloth vest and cloth wraps. But when I has... Well, she's currently out, so that doesn't matter. Ingles, ah, she uses swords, but she's currently out. Kristen's got a default... Common bow weapon. Yurik's got a boar spear and leather lamella. Very cool. Wow, we're in a game where lamella's epic, everyone. Interesting. <laughs> uh, Rosalind's pretty out of it. So we've got a traveler's staff and boiled leather and then cloth wraps. I didn't. I don't think I saw any wraps in the marketplace. I don't believe. But I assume the initiative staff would be super handy, but it's 600 gold. Uh, travel staff is what he has. I could get a hunting bow for Kristen, which actually would be pretty good. Average price is 140, the purchase price is 126. Interesting that it's like 0%, 0%, 0%. It's common though. But it does do more damage than the one we've got. So I am going to buy it. Uh, off hands, we've got shields and stuff. That's pretty cool. They could be pretty handy at some point. Materials which we can sell to other people. We've got salt, we've got meat, we've got wood. Wood needed, my lord. We've got a hide coat for evasion, move, and speed. I think that'd be pretty cool. 
Uh, I will buy that because it's only 94. I'll give that to someone else. It's a rare light one. We've got epic light as well for thick vest. Um. Ooh, why has I got a star? Oh, because it's recommended. I see. Uh, probably because the purchase price is cheap and it's also decent. But everyone's currently out of action. I could buy it and keep it for someone else. But I'm still not fully on board with how the money situations go right now. So I don't want to go mental until I've like fully got you know the level on it, as it were. Uh, so I will go out of here. We'll go over here. Where is Kristen? There you are. So if I go to gear, go to weapon. Can I remove your basic weapon? Equip a better item to replace it. So if I go... Right, so that's like the base. You can't like... Unequip that one and then sell it. That is just like the flat one. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, Uric doesn't matter in terms of armor. Ritter, you've got medium. Rubik, you've got light. So that's basically the same, but but it has more defense, and that's really the important part. Nobody else has armor. Everyone was. Everyone is naked. Interesting. Well, Rubik, here you go. And I'll give that to... Where is she? Kristen? There you go. And everyone else has kind of got something going on. Ah, plus seven. So, you are a very hairy pugilist. Which is, I guess, a bit ironic. But anyway, let's not read too much into that. They should really... I hope they have add more hair options. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go to the inn quickly. It did say... Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave the city quickly because I want to see if there's, like, a time. It doesn't specifically say, oh, don't take too long to get there. There is no time limit for what I can see. So I guess I will rest up. Because uh, everyone is fatigued, from what I recall. Fatigue, 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 fatigue. Available. Oh, yes. Uh, so really, we should be waiting for a month. But it said it should be there in a few days. But it wasn't super specific about it. So let me check the uh, contract. Oh, 240 days. That's not a few days. That's almost a year. Liar. Little liar. Right, let's rest. I'm glad that it shows you, like, uh, how long it takes for each of them to rest. Saying that, though, we can't really afford it for too long. It ain't cheap living in a, um inn for this long. So, 27. Oh, I can only go 10 days. Oh, damn. Well, I guess I will do the lower one. I'm going to do eight days. Confirm. It's been a week. And we're almost out of money again. <laughs> uh, if I leave here, press escape. Available. That's grand. 41 days. It's always well rested. Whew. You're still in the infirmary for eight days. You're still fatigued for eight days. So if I rest for a bit longer, because I suppose you can do it back and forth, I suppose. It ain't cheap, though. I'll say that. So if I go rest again. Four days. It's technically days, but if you're in a... A, a well a well established place like the Sad Spire Inn, I think it does it a little bit faster. Uh, so now if I go to Infirmary... Are we... Are you done? Four days remaining. Okay. I think everyone else is basically fine. Except you, who is critical. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. Well, everyone's basically healed up. Everyone's fine. We're all looking good. We did the next mission. These episodes are a lot longer than I thought they were going to be, but it does take a while to get through a dungeon. But I am going to leave it there for today. And I will do then the next mission on the next episode. We've got a few level ups. We've got uh, some novices and journeymans now. A journeyman. Which is pretty cool. We've got two customized characters, like I say. If anyone else wants to be any of these other people, obviously, injuries willing, they will come out soon. Please let me know. Obviously, it is based on classes, so we've got Guardians and Valkyries and Huntresses and Hunters. You can change the, uh, the genders and all that jazz. I will show it off one more time near the end. So you've got all these options here that you can choose from. It is a bit limited right now, but I will get it as close as I can as you would like basically. But, I'll leave it there. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. I'm sure there's more on there that you will enjoy. There are a lot of similar games that we play like this, so 
or strike will tickle your fancy. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit no the notification bell so you know when we go out and play this as the Northerners, or when we go and play as the Oath Takers, or when we maybe do something else a little bit different down the line. And yeah, we'll have a jolly good time together up here in the North. But that is ciao for now from me, guys and girls. See ya later. Our kids.